In this video, I'm going to teach you how to animate this robot taking a box off of the big stack and putting it onto the pallet. So let's start by going into set key mode, and then what we're going to do is place our robot into a neutral starting position and set our initial keyframe. So this looks good. So what I'm going to do is hit Control A to select all my objects and hit the big key to keyframe this. That's going to give each object an initial starting point. Next what I'm going to do is move the timeline over so we can start our next keyframe. So now let's reposition the robot until it's over the box we want to pick up. Now what we can do to make this motion look more robotic is split it up into a few keyframes in distinct positions. So I'm going to start with an initial position here. Once we've found a good position, we can go ahead and select all of our objects and set a new keyframe. Every time I set a new keyframe, I like to go back and play the animation and just make sure it looks right. So next we can move our timeline over to our next keyframe and reposition our robot in the final position to pick up the first box. Once we've found our final position, we can go ahead and select all of our objects again and set our new keyframe. And then replay the animation to see if it looks right. Now what we can do is slide our newest keyframe over a few frames, and that'll give our robot a nice pause. This next part of the video, I've actually readjusted my keyframes so that the robot looks like it's coming more from the top instead of underneath the box. Now there's two ways to do this animation. The first way is the brute force way, which can be easier, but the animation will look more choppy. So that way involves moving the robot and the box separately and just lining them up so they look like they're moving together. The second way is to use a motion controller to link the box to the head of the robot when we want to pick it up and unlink the box when we want to set it down. Motion controllers can help us control the way an object moves between two keyframes during an animation. The motion controllers can be found in the motion tab. So if we select that, and then we select the box we want to add our links to, we can go to where it says assign controller and click on that, and the controller options will drop down. Now there's a lot of different things we can use motion controllers for, so I'm just going to show you the one we need specifically for linking an object and then unlinking it. The reason we need to change the controller is because we can't actually keyframe the normal link command that we use to link all the robot pieces together. So what we're going to do is select the top level where it says transform position rotation scale and then click the box with the green check that says assign controller and we get this pop-out window. And now we can change the controller from position rotation scale to link constraint and then select OK. Now we have a new menu called link params which will help us control what we're linking the object to. So let's first go and set our timeline to zero. Now it is okay to do this not in set key or auto key mode. First what we're going to do is select link to world what this is going to do is make sure that the box is independent from any other object to begin with. Now that we've done that, we can move our timeline slider down to where we want the box to start linking up with the robot. And then we can select Add Link in the Link Params tab. And then select the head of the robot that we want to link the box to. 
So now that our initial links are set up, what we can do is readjust the robot and it'll take the box with it. So now we just find a new position that we want the robot in. And then we can set some keyframes for this position. So now as we move all of our pieces, you'll notice that the box is still linked to the head of the robot. So once you found a good position, just select all the objects and set a new keyframe. Then we can move our timeline slider down and set an intermediate position before we drop the box. Once that's done, we can go ahead and set this new keyframe. And then we can replay the animation to see how it looks. Now I'm just going to skip ahead a little bit to where I found the final position where I want my robot to release the box. Once you've found your final position, go ahead and set your last keyframe. Then what we can do is go back into the Motion tab and select Link to World again, which is going to unlink the box from the head of the robot. Now we can reposition the robot again without the box following it. So once that's done, you can keyframe that and then replay your animation to see what happens. So you notice the box stays with the robot and then the robot leaves it at the pallet just like we wanted it to. And then we can just repeat this process to make the robot move a second box. 